I want to consider one particular situation with logarithms, and I know we've um, talked about this before, where the logarithm, um, the base of the logarithm needs to be positive, okay, it can't be zero or, or negative. But we never really explored in any great detail why. So I just want to talk about one particular example with you. Why is it that you can't have a logarithm with a negative base? And we can consider one example where it fails. Okay? When the base is positive and the number inside the logarithm is positive, no problem, it'll work. Okay, We can find a solution to that and we can find an index that'll work. So let's have a look at log base negative 2 of 5. And we can rewrite this in exponential form. So if the base is negative 2, this can be written as negative 2 to the power of n equals 5. So that's fine. Question is, can we find an n so that when you raise negative 2 to that power, we're going to get 5? Let's apply the logarithm of base 10 to, to both sides because we can use a calculator. Uh, we can use the log button on the calculator for this and the logarithm on the calculator can do logs of base 10. Uh, so it's a nice convenient logarithm to use. So applying that log of base 10 to both sides, so we can apply log law number 3 where the n comes out to the front. Okay. So let's apply the log to both sides. Moving on, the n, the power okay, of the negative 2 comes out to the front. So it's n times log base 10 of negative 2 equals log base 10 of 5. That's fine. So, so far, so good up to this point. Now let's divide both sides by log base 10 of negative 2. And you end up with, with this. Okay. Now, the problem is that line there. Okay. So log base 10 of negative 2, okay, let's say that that equals x, is really the same as saying, if we rewrite an exponential form, negative 2, um, sorry, negative, um, sorry, 10 to the power of x is equal to negative 2. Okay. Now, the problem with this exponential is that 10 to the power of x, doesn't matter what value of x you use, 10 to the power of x is always going to be a positive number. So that side is always going to be greater than 0. But 2 is less than 0. We're never going to find, there's no x, at least in the numbers that we use in our number system, there's no x or there's no value that we can substitute in here. Um, for 10 to the power of x so that we get a negative number on this side. In fact, when we look at the graph of 10 to the power of x, the graph of 10 to the power of x is like this. Okay, so it's like a, an exponential. There, there's nothing sort of below the x-axis there. So this fails. That cannot work. So therefore, we cannot find an n such that negative 2 to the power of n equals 5. And that's why we limit the, the base of a, of a logarithm when we're dealing with logarithms, um, we limit them to positive numbers. Now, does that mean that we cannot use negative bases at all? Is there an example where it does work? Yes, there is, in fact. What about, say, for example, log to the negative 1, uh, log base negative 1 of negative 1 is equal to um, n. Can we find an n so that when you raise negative 1 to the power of n, we get negative 1? And sure, of course, that's going to work. We can do that. Uh, one example would be 3, or 1 example. Negative 1 to the power of 3 is equal to negative 1. So that works, okay? So just for those that, um, just for, for those that would like to see this in a little bit more detail, writing this uh, in exponential form, negative 1 to the power of n, okay, is equal to negative 1. Can we find an n such that this works? Most certainly. In fact, n needs to be, can be any odd integer, in fact, and that, that would be the solution to this. So... It's not right to just have a blanket statement that you cannot at all use negative bases, but more often than not, negative bases cause a lot of issues and a lot of problems. And unless n is some uh, some integer or, or some uh, even a subset of the integers, then we're not going to we're not going to this this cannot work. Okay, so that's why we don't have zero bases and, and in fact negative bases for that matter.